of people of the internet, welcome back to FNAF News. In today's video, we've gotten our first look at Funko's upcoming Withered Pops, and this might be some of Funko's best work yet. We've finally gotten the release date for it into the pit on the Nintendo Switch. I've got an explanation on this Matthew Lillard interview drama, so that and so much more we're going to be talking about today. But first up, let's talk about some book news, because we've got an updated cover for Return to the Pit. This is an upcoming interactive novel releasing on December 24th, and as you can see for this new cover we've got some new eyes for spring bonnie here going from yellow to blue eyes to closer match the appearance of the yellow rabbit in the novel personally i dig the animatronic eyes just a bit better even if they're not super accurate to the yellow rabbit themselves and moving on now let's talk about hex because they've got a brand new plushie wave coming up with them recently showing off the collectible cards for the glam rock plushies you got freddy chica monty and roxanne of course from security breach with Daco also showing off the current look for the security breach plushies and honestly they look super super cute super accurate as well Daco also confirmed that a glamrock bonnie plushie will happen in the future and that when it does happen it'll be based off his fixed design and not his destroyed look and if you're wondering when you can pick up these glamrock plushies you might not have to wait too much longer because recently Daco stated that the security breach plushies are now releasing before sister location with the funtime plushies now set to launch sometime in december and Daco also showed off an updated prototype for the Funtime Freddy plushie. Sat beside him in this image is his old head. So absolutely an upgrade in the head department. Funtime Freddy, you're looking much, much better, my friend. And now let's move on to YouTubes because recently they hosted yet another Reddit AMA and they revealed, honestly, not much FNAF news, but FNAF news nonetheless. Going down the list, they stated that a teaser for the third FNAF print should be coming soon. The previously revealed DJ Music Man hanging pin will be released in a future wave, so that has not been scrapped. The Phantom plushie plushies have an estimated time of arrival of quarter one slash quarter two next year. Though the figures will release before them, u is apparently open to the idea of making merch based on FNAF book characters. They're working on ideas for shadow figures slash plushies. An unwithered version of the Yellow Rabbit plushie is in the works. The second FNAF movie wave will include only three figures, and that wave will likely be released in December, with u confirming MatPat will make an appearance in that wave likely with his character next from the movie. A Fredbear figure might be coming soon. The toy animatronics are coming in the future. And lastly, they have no current plans, unfortunately, for any Into the Pit figures. So that is not the only YouTube's news we got because they've just revealed their next FNAF wave releasing on the 27th of October. With this upcoming wave featuring the monitor buddies of Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy, a brand new FNAF light, which is just the FNAF logo. You've got a jigsaw puzzle based on their FNAF 2 print poster, and then a whole bunch of plushies, including the wet floor box, Shoulder Riders for Baby, Springtrap Chica, Golden Freddy, and Glamrock Chica, a weighted plushie of Roxanne, as well as Roxanne Slippers. So just a whole bunch of products releasing on October the 27th, but that is not even the end of U2's news, because recently, U2's News, the Twitter account, revealed the concept art in 3D model for U2's upcoming Springtrapped Afton figure, and this guy looks freaking insane. I wasn't a big fan of their previous Springtrap figure, but it seems like they're going all out for this new one releasing in the FNAF 3 wave. Seems like at the start of next year with the Phantoms. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on this brand new Springtrap figure? What are your thoughts on all the other U2's reveals? They're releasing a lot pretty soon. And then speaking of releases, the brand new FNAF Tub Ducks are now available to pre-order. We've taken a look at these guys in the past and they are absolutely adorable. You can get the first edition of the Ducks which include their various props or there are also mini editions of the Ducks where it's just the characters themselves. And Numskull Designs, the creators of the tub ducks have also revealed that sketches for future ducks have already been made with those ducks releasing sometime next year and they've also apparently taken on the challenge to make a mangled duck figure no idea how they're going to get that done but i would absolutely love to see it what are your thoughts on these ducks are you going to be picking them up and now let's move on to funko because it is halloween season so of course that means they're releasing a brand new Christmas plushie. Because recently we got revealed to us the Jumbo Gingerbread Foxy plushie exclusive to GameStop. I believe it was last year we got the Christmas themed FNAF figures and plushies from Funko. So I guess if you're a fan of those character designs, this guy should be releasing pretty soon. And actually right as I finished editing this video, we just got our first look at Funko's upcoming Jumbo Glitch Trap plushie. And this guy certainly looks goofy. I can't quite tell if I like him or not. I've seen very mixed reactions on this plush. I like his 
jacket, his toothy grin, and his really sad eyes, and his weird looking whiskers are really throwing me off. But other than that, I don't know, I think he's kind of cute. This guy measures at 16 inches, and it's going to be exclusive to GameStop. I'm not entirely sure when it's going to be releasing. This is also before we've gotten a normal sized Funko plushie of Glitch Trap, but with the licensing switch for their merchandise, I don't know if we're gonna get that. So Glitch Trap fans, what are your thoughts on this Jumbo plushie? Do you like it? Do you not? I'd love to know. What are your thoughts? But then in more exciting Funko news, we've just gotten our first look at their Withered Golden Freddy Pop figure. This is what he looks like. As you can see, he's exclusive to Hot Topic. And my goodness, has Funko cooked here. The majority of comments I've seen on this brand new figure is that this is one of, if not the best FNAF Funko Pop we've ever gotten. The detail on him is just absolutely insane. It seems like he's also hitting store shelves about right now. So if you're a fan of this Withered Golden Freddy Pop figure, maybe go check your local store. And we have also heard coming spring 2025, the other Withered animatronics will also be getting pop figures as well as a six inch figure of Mangle. So it seems like Funko's really locking in for these Withered Pops. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on this Withered Golden Freddy Pop? Do you agree that it's one of the best we've gotten? And then actually speaking of Golden Freddy, kind of. Figpin has just released a gold-plated Freddy Fazbear Figpin, and this guy is exclusive to the Figpin website with only 500 pieces being made. As of the recording of this video, which should go out today, it does seem like he's still in stock, so if you want to own a pretty rare FNAF Figpin, maybe go pick this guy up. And then lastly, for FNAF merchandise, we've got some brand new food products from FYE and Spencer's, with the first one being a mystery flavored Fizzy Faz Soda from FYE. They've been releasing a ton of Fizzy Faz Sodas, all of them flavored and themed around a particular glam rock animatronic. Though this one is mystery flavored, so I absolutely will be picking this up pretty soon to see what it tastes like. And then from Spencer's, they've released some brand new chocolate bars based on Chica, Foxy, and Bear, my favorite FNAF character. It looks like the Chica bar is milk chocolate with peppermint. Foxy's is milk chocolate with salted caramel pieces. And then Freddy's, or excuse me, Bear's, is just a regular milk chocolate bar. And then also from Spencer's is this brand new FNAF cotton candy, which as you can see, I've picked up, but have not cracked into just yet. It's apparently Freddy's Fazberry cotton candy. I'd assume it's just gonna taste like cotton candy. I don't know, does cotton candy come in other flavors? I've been putting off eating that, but at some point soon, I I will be trying it in a YouTube short. And now next up, we have got to talk about this Matthew Lillard and Streamily drama. If you remember earlier this month, Daco and FNAF, they announced that they'd be hosting a Q&A as well as a live autograph signing stream with a whole bunch of FNAF voice actors, as well as Matthew Lillard, you know, the actor who plays William Afton in the FNAF films. But recently, Matthew Lillard quote retweeted those announcements saying it's really weird. It's being advertised that I'm participating because I'm not. Also replying to Daco saying, I'm not participating in this FYI. And of course, that led to a lot of confusion among the fan base, and as it turns out, even Daco and John themselves, with both of them replying to Matthew really confused about the situation, but also apologizing, despite the fact that actually it wasn't even their fault. Because as it turns out, Streamly, the event organizers behind the live signing, they had some miscommunication giving graphics to Daco and John, claiming that Matthew would be a part of the live Q&A, even though he was only doing print signings off camera camera and was not involved in the stream aspect at all. So now you've got people upset at Daco and John for really not doing anything, they were just given wrong information, as well as people upset at Matthew for his initial tweets because they came off quite aggressive. And it seems like the majority opinion is that this whole thing should have just been settled privately. So just to recap, the event is still happening on October the 26th. You're able to purchase a signed print from all of the FNAF voice actors as well as Matthew Lillard. However, it seems like Matthew will not be signing any of the prints on the stream, and that the live Q&A is only taking place between Daco, John, and the FNAF voice actors. So just a really messy situation all around. I feel super, super bad for Daco and John, especially because it seems that, at least in Daco's mind, this has tainted the opportunity to interview Matthew at a later date, which I really hope isn't the case because that would absolutely suck. I really hope Matthew can understand this was not Daco nor John's fault. But at least we have some good FNAF interview news coming up because Daco has started to kick off his third season of the FNAF show, and so far he'll be interviewing Marcia Svedek, the voice actress for Gregory, Roxanne, Vanny, as well as Mystic Hippo. He'll also be interviewing Joseph Poliquin, who played Carl in the FNAF film, as well as Piper Rubio, who played Abby in the FNAF movie. It seems like Daco's already begun filming some of the episodes, so we got that to look forward to in regards to FNAF interviews. And lastly, for today, we have some very exciting news.
news for Switch fans, because after a month's delay, Mega Cat Studios has officially announced that Into the Pit is releasing on Nintendo Switch on October 31st, Halloween Day, which means I will be streaming here on the channel on Halloween, don't miss it. And they've also announced that patches for PlayStation and Xbox are currently underway. So some really good news for Into the Pit console players, and that's gonna do it for today's FNAF News video. We've been focusing so much on movie news recently that we've missed out on all of the other FNAF news, so don't worry, there's another FNAF News video coming out in the next couple of days. And then of course, filming for FNAF 2 begins in just a few days on October 27th, where Scott Cawthon has confirmed that he will be releasing some filming photos. So we got that to look forward to as well. It's just a really good time to be a FNAF fan, and it's a really good time for me to end this episode, I guess. That's my segue. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.